welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. I just landed in Sydney. Surprisingly, my room or our room I'm sharing with Talia um, is actually ready really early. So I'm in here now and I'll give you guys a little tour in a second. But I guess I'll just give you guys like kind of a rundown of what I'm doing while I'm here. So the main reason why I'm here is because I have a White Fox event on tonight. So they flown me down here. I decided to get the really early flight out in the morning just so that I'm here. And I really just can't be bothered for like any delays and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm here now. It's, what time is it? 11.15. I am literally starving though. I usually don't eat till like midday back at home, but because I woke up at like, actually I woke up at like three in the morning this morning and I couldn't get back to sleep. So I've been up for quite a while now. I'm gonna have to grab a quick little snack downstairs. While I have some time to kill, I'm gonna meet up with my new manager, Daisy, who just started with um, Komodo, my agency. I'm gonna grab a coffee later and then I think I'm just gonna like walk around the city, pop into a couple of shops after that as well. And then tonight I've got the White Fox event on. So they're just hosting like a cute little Galentine's dinner at Shell House in, I think it's in the CBD. I've never been before. I'm really excited to go. Um, I'll give you guys a little tour of the room. It's so cute. If you walk in here, there's a huge mirror on the left. Little bar area, the beds. This is the view, so nice. In here we have the bathroom. If you guys are wondering as well, the outfit that I'm wearing today is from White Fox as well. It's so cute and it actually fits so nicely. I'm gonna get it in the white too. And they should come out with more colors because I'll just get the rest of them. I also popped into the warehouse to go pick up some outfits. So I'm gonna try all of these on for you guys. I might actually have time to just quickly do it now. I'm actually really excited to like try everything on. Um, I need to figure out what I'm actually going to wear to the event tonight. So I'm just going to quickly do like a little try on while I have time. Um, but yeah, there is a lot of things in here, you guys. I think I already know what I'm kind of leaning towards for tonight, but we'll see how I go. Excuse the angle, but this is the first dress. I actually don't have it on properly, so it should be sitting like this, but... There is absolutely no way that I can do these buttons up by myself. So if I do decide to wear this, I'll have to get Tali to help me. This is the first option out of like more than 10. Um, but yeah, it's just like off the shoulder, got cute little straps, really nice silk dress. It actually fits really, really nice. This is option number two. Nice little floral number with a nice low back. And I did pick this one up in an extra small, in case anyone's wondering. Next up we have this dress right here, which is like pink. And it's got a little bit of red as well, like a red lace trim. I'd actually wear this as a 90 as well. Like I know that's a style, but I would actually wear this to bed because I love wearing stuff like this around the house. And they've actually released like the same dress in heaps of different colorways. I just saw it on their website. So this is another really good option. This is the outfit that... I'm pretty sure my heart's set on. I'm not sure if it's giving with my dark hair. I feel like it may have suited my lighter hair better. But let me just quickly go back to blonde. Love this top so much. I actually also got it in the pink as well. This fits so nice. I'm wearing it in an extra small. Oh, I need to see. And these jeans are from White Fox as well. And guys, they fit amazingly. They're like the most perfect low-rise jeans. And the wash of them is really, really nice as well. I feel like this is a bit more of like a daytime look though again. So I'm gonna have to like, oh my God, I need a sneeze. I'm gonna have to like suss out the Instagram of the place we're going to and see if I can like get any content that'll look cute in this around there. Cause I feel like this is like nighttime, but not the vibes of where we're going. But I love this so much. It's my favorite thing I've tried on so far, but I'll show you guys the other thing that I was thinking next. Oh my gosh. This screams Valentine's Day. Like, it just yelled at you guys, didn't it? This is so nice. This is definitely a strong contender. It is a bit tight though. I'm wearing an extra small, but like, I feel like it looks good. Again, I don't have this on properly, but we have that same first dress that I tried on in the red. This is gorgeous. I love this. I just love red on me now that I have darker hair. Sorry, that really needs to be tighter, but... What do you guys think? I love this. I'm actually obsessed with every single thing that I'm trying on. How cute is this dress, you guys? So it's got like lace cups, but there is lining underneath. So you can't actually see your nipples through it. And then the rest of it is just like a satin 
silky material. I don't have it zipped up properly, but I'm wearing this in an extra small again. This is so cute. It's got like lace detailing at the bottom. You guys are not ready for this one. No, like bye. What do you even mean? It's just like a lace midi dress with this like flower detailing on the front. This is so sexy. It's a little bit like loose on me though, I feel. It would be nicer if it was like super tight like that. But, um, I mean, this is just an absolute sleigh with the dark hair. This is the material close up. I think they had another style of this top that you could also pair with a skirt, but this fits me literally perfectly. Then we have this little set with this little orange corset top. And then it's just like a skirt with a little split at the front. It's like a midi skirt. And you can also like cinch it up or not cinch it up as much on the front here, which I think is nice. I just wanted to try the pink version of that little corset top for you guys as well. So you guys can see. It's just so cute. I love this baby pink color. Maybe I might wear this with the jeans instead. That'll look cute. But I didn't bring like, it would be so cute if I had like a mini pink bag and like matching pink heels. So yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm popped out. I've got to run. Otherwise, I'm going to be late for my meeting. But... The day has just taken an absolute turn for the bloody worst. Kidding, I've actually had a good day, but as you guys can see, I just got drenched. Um, it just started storming in the city out of the blue. I knew I shouldn't have gone into Chanel. That's a sign from the universe that I need to stop shopping. I didn't even get anything from Chanel, second of all. If you guys just saw in the last clip, I was like, well, I ran across the road to Valentino because there was a taxi and I thought it might have been free. So I ran across the road. Of course, the taxi was not free. So I was literally standing outside Valentino, like in the littlest bit of um, shelter from the rain. And one of the girls recognized me that works there. And she's like, come in, come in. You guys literally would have just seen that. She said she watches my YouTube videos and she was like, I was watching your stories literally just then. And she's like, I noticed like your bag and your shoes. Anyways, if you're watching this, thank you so much. That was so nice of you. So I eventually was able to order an Uber, which also cost me $45 for a five minute ride because it was like high affairs due to increased demand. But um, my Uber like went way past the store. And I basically had to run through the rain. That's why I'm sopping wet. And she actually ran to get like a plastic bag from the back so I could protect my hair. But the light um, for the pedestrian to like start walking across the road went green. And I was talking to the security guy. I was like, fuck. I was like, what do I do? Like my Uber's waiting for me. I don't want to cancel. I was like, do you reckon I should just run? He's like, I would. So I feel bad that I just like ran off without properly saying bye. But thank you so much. She was honestly like the sweetest girl. And of course now it stops raining. Like it's not even raining anymore. I've had a really good day aside from that. Um, I ended up picking up that white top from Dior that I tried on that I showed you guys. So I'm going to bring that to Europe with me. I feel like every single person that I've come across today has been like so nice to me. Honestly, if I wasn't having a good day and I just got absolutely drenched like I did just then, I probably would just be in a really salty mood right now. But... I'm just feeling really grateful today and everyone's been so nice to me. At least Sydney still looks cute when it's raining. Ali and Tiles are right there right now having lunch with the manager. Okay, I'm just gonna start getting ready now. I need to get my brushes. I've just got my shit everywhere. My hair actually doesn't look too bad. So I think I'm just gonna touch up like little bits. Oh, I can't be bothered doing my makeup. Honestly, I feel like when you've been running around all day and then you just stop, the tiredness just hits you all at once. And I'm not vibing with it, really. I don't even know if I vlogged any of it because I was literally in and out of there. 
But um, the cafe that we went to was literally on the same street as One Cosmetic, which is who did my boobs. In case you guys didn't know, I feel like I've said it so many times, but people always still ask where I get my boobs done. Or like where I got them done, sorry. I went and quickly spoke to him because I wanted to ask what options I have for making my boobs a little bit closer together. I love how they look and I love the size of them. I just really wish they were a little bit closer together. And he basically said I can either get bigger implants and he'll do like um, an inbuilt bra and also do fat grafting and just do the whole shebang. Or he said... I can just do just fat grafting, which is apparently really hard considering I don't have much fat and apparently fat grafting in general is just really unpredictable because most of the fat kind of goes away once it starts healing and then if you also lose even like two or three kilos, you can lose fat there. So I've got a lot to think about. I'm going to decide in like the next week but it's not like a major surgery or anything but he said i literally have like no fat on my body so he's like i don't even know where we're gonna like get the fat from the fat grafting 50 percent of it goes away once they're healed like the fat he also said that if i'm gonna have kids and like we'll start having kids in like two three years he's like you may as well just wait until after and then just get your boobs redone after get a bigger implant in um, because he's like, they will get a little bit bigger when you have kids. So, yeah, I've got a lot to think about. Spoken to James about it to see what he thinks. Because I can't make up my own mind with things. He said definitely not to do the implants. Because um, I mentioned what he said about having kids. Um, so, yeah. Alright, guys. My makeup is all basically done. But this is another option for tops. I actually really like this. Do you think this is more nighttime than the lace top? Yeah, it's pretty. I like it. It looks good. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Say hello to the vlog. How's it going? Good. We just took so long at dinner. Yeah, they did. Well, Tasha's lunch. like, you coming from the Gold Coast? I mean yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I messaged her because she told me they were leaving. All right, I want to show you guys where they just were. Actually, I think I showed you guys before. They were in that... Literally. Alien looking building over there. Us. And it took them like 40 minutes to get home. So long. Obviously it got cancelled and then it took so long. And then Ali's like on the phone to him. It was a lot. Yeah, I was like, are you guys coming from the Gold Coast, bro? I am all ready now. The weather's actually like somewhat decent now. I feel like it will still rain later. But hopefully not while we're like walking around. I'll show you guys my outfit in the full body mirror. I should have got an extra small on these jeans. They're like oh, swimming on me. Small. Yeah. They seem more comfy. Yeah. Anyways, um, this is, yeah, the white fox jeans and top that I showed you guys before. It doesn't really fit the vibe of where we're going, but I just love this outfit so much. These jeans are, like, I think probably one of my favorite jeans that I own. And I'm just wearing my Bottega heels and a little bag that I wear literally all the time. Right in the middle of the table. Like, right where I like to be. Right where you
I don't know. It's got lemon time. in it. Yeah, it does. Stop looking at it, doll. You got your own? <laughs> she's, she's waiting like I'm going to give her more of my fucking cake. I don't want mine because mine's going home with me. Eat tomorrow. She's like waiting as if I'm going to give her more. I was already hesitating at the first one, doll. <laughs> I didn't even notice that I was doing it, but... <laughs> Alrighty guys, I am just gonna close out the vlog here. I am so tired. I'm pretty sure it's like midnight now. But I had such a good night. It was a huge dinner. The setup was just beautiful. And it was good to see all of the White Fox girls and like talk to a lot of the girls that I haven't seen in a while and really just catch up with everyone. I actually exhausted towards the end, like the last half an hour. The event was meant to finish at like 10, but we didn't leave till like 10.45. And guys, I was just like yawning nonstop like the last half an hour. So I was like, it's probably time to wrap it up. I've been up since three in the morning. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.